Hey Virgo, how are you? This is Mary Ellen coming to you for your October 2021 love reading. Ooh, we got cards coming out all over. So um, Virgo, we're going to shuffle up the cards. I'm going to pull some things from the journey of love and uh, we're going to put it right down on top of your October life path reading. An amazing reading. You have to see it. I'll put a little eye in the sky there. So when you're done with this, you can click right on it. Very important. It has everything to do with love has everything to do with you as the ace of cups there it is right there and we have the ace of uh wands coming out the queen of cups the lovers something very important happening including the wild woman so please go listen to that the magician is here and we're going to take a look so here's the first card that came out it um just flipped right sideways as I was shuffling. So you are in the path of becoming in some way in your life. That's what the theme of the life path reading was about. So we're going to put this right here for you. Spirit, can you please talk to us a little bit about Virgo's potential partner? Those of you who are engaged in a love relationship of some kind, whether you're dating, whether you're betrothed, whether you're married, big change is coming to you, Virgo, and therefore to the relationship. So Spirit, please talk to us about Virgo's person. What is that? Virgo needs, yeah, it's this one. Okay, thank you, Spirit. So the shifting universe, that's what they're gonna be uh, experiencing. And it may be happening for them too. It might be that both of you are undergoing some really intense shift and change in the structure and the fabric of your internal lives. And certainly that affects the relationship. I, I think I said it, but you're showing up as the wild woman who's using her third eye to intuit what comes next. So, Spirit, please give us something for the relationship. Talk to us about the energy in the relationship between Virgo and their partner. What is it that Virgo needs to know? What is the nature, the tenor of the relationship while this uh, giant change comes over Virgo and apparently Virgo's partner as well? Please let us know what, what we need to understand. Okay, my guys are saying this one. I like it. The fire and ice. It's about walking into the light and understanding the tension of opposites in order to bring that which is meant to be created forward so that it is not bound up in ice and immovable or consumed by fire. So Virgo, you walk in on this very important pathway toward yourself and it is of course reflected in the relationship that's the challenge if you will and the blessing that's going to come forward this month in the month of October so spirit talk to us please about Virgo's energy while they're in the process of manifesting from the ace of cups the great cauldron of the sacred all father the Dagda in the Celtic tradition what is it that Virgo needs to know? Okay, my guides are asking me to shuffle a little bit, so I will do that. Look what came to the surface, Virgo. There you go, Queen of Cups, Queen of Cups. So you are contemplating your cup in all the ways that we talked about in the Life Path reading. I'm not gonna repeat it, but please go watch it. It's very important for you to understand your love reading this month. So there's the Queen of Cups sitting in her purity, the way a Virgo would, and she's contemplating the cup. What can she create? She's highly creative. She works with the creative forces of the universe. And in this moment, she's contemplating, should I take the lid off my cup and share it with someone else? And there's the lover's card. So you have a lot to consider this month, Virgo. Let's get something for your partner, okay? Let's go straight across. My, my guys are saying, go straight across. Hang on, there it is. They want this one, the lovers. So somebody that you're really mated with in a way that is impactful. Virgo, inside the relationship, it's gonna be important to give time. Go slow, this is a massive shift and change. It is needing to be managed, my guides are saying in the way that you experience this fire and ice, the tension of opposites. So give the relationship time because what's happening, oh boy, why do you see the cards? There's the sun, the most beneficial card 
in the deck, sitting right here supporting the Queen of Cups. I really like it. And look, the Hierophant, the High Priest, somebody very knowledgeable, somebody very knowing. Whoever your partner is, they are wanting to make a commitment. And so here's the relationship again, Four of Wands. So this whole idea of go slow, please take it seriously. If this is a new relationship, or if you're in a long-term bond and there is change coming, it's important to leave space for the change so that you understand how it affects the bond, the relationship, okay? So this is the energy that's coming off of you into the partnership. This is the energy coming off of you, or pardon me, coming off of your partner into the partnership, into the love bond. So it is about becoming through the tension of opposites, shifting the universe. Maybe you just met somebody and it's changing your world. Maybe you and your partner have both come to some revelation and it's changing the nature of the relationship. Maybe, Virgo, you are in a process of your own and suddenly your beloved shows up. It could be anything. Any kind of outcome when it comes to the nature of love. But because you are so deeply activated in your own life, this is what the pathway to love is going to bring to you. You're going to take your time. Yeah, there might be somebody who's looking at you saying, you're my mate and I know and I want to marry you and will you please be with me? And there's the lover card in your, the lovers. And basically the whole discussion was you got to stand in your own place. You cannot collapse yourself. This is the room for partnership into the partnership. So I think it's going to take a little bit of time, Virgo, for you to figure out how to create a bond that allows you to continue to be yourself and stand in your place and be creative and independent because you are moving your life forward and under no circumstances are you meant to collapse yourself into a love bond and give all of you into the relationship. You have to remain standing. I just want to show you this. Look, that's what the guys were talking about. You have to be the wild woman. You see the activation at the heart chakra? You see how she's intuiting her own pathway? She's, you know, that thing about uh, dancing to your own tune and all that kind of thing. She's looking up into the universe because the third eye is here. She's looking from her third eye into her future to activate what is meant to come from her heart chakra into her own life so that it can develop and bring forward what is meant to come out of her heart chakra. In order to do that, she has to stand in her own right. So very important always to stand in your own light while you're entering into a partnership. So this partnership looks really beautiful, very loving, very strong, very connected. We're going to head on over to Patreon. The link is below. If I didn't say it, the link for a reading, please click the like button for me. It is the life breath of my channel because of how YouTube uses it to push someone's video up in the algorithm. I need that and I thank you and I look forward to seeing you on Patreon so we can finish this reading and find out where this is going. It's very exciting. Thanks, Virgo, for being here. I'll look forward to seeing you on Patreon. Have a wonderful day.